The bank has two roles. It operates in the domestic market and it operates in international markets. The Reserve Bank Board sets a target for the cash rate at its monthly meetings uh, and it's the job of the domestic operations to make sure that that target is actually achieved. It does that by adjusting the supply of funds in the interbank market uh, so that the banks have an incentive to lend that money between themselves at the cash rate. So we control the supply, they have the demand and the net outcome of that is the price. So to adjust the supply of liquidity in the market, the bank operates in the market by either buying and selling securities, which is the stuff you read about in textbooks, but mostly what we do is actually something called a repo, which is we lend or borrow money uh, from the banking system against collateral, normally uh, a government security, but also bank paper as well. So we inject money into the system by lending to a bank and in return they provide us with a, a security. So we operate in the market every day. Uh, we do it at 9.45 in the morning. So at 9.30 we publish on uh, the news services what our intention is that day. We tell them how much liquidity we're going to inject, we intend to inject into the market and at what term we're going to do. So we don't, just lend, we don't lend overnight generally, or almost never we lend for a period of time, so a month uh, or two. The banks or any other uh, participants have the, uh, can bring us back with uh, their bids by 9.45 each day. It's an auction, so whoever gives us the or offers us the best price is the one we accept. Um, normally we accept multiple bids. We also do, since last November, a second round of open market operations, uh, potentially each day at around about um, uh, 10 past 5 in the day, um, about one in every two or three days to make, because with the move to fast settlements now, uh, there's a requirement that we, that the liquidity position in the market at the end of the day is right where we want it to be. So because we operate in the market every day, we get to assess the demand of uh, our counterparties for liquidity. So as I said, we control the supply, they have the demand. So we can see how much they're demanding, and if they're demanding more, we uh, can increase the supply to make sure that the price, which is the cash rate, stays where the board wants it to be. But also because we're interacting with market participants every day in doing these transactions, uh, it gives us a lot of insight into the conditions in the market because we're actually a participant in the market ourselves.